Hi everyone, this is Teacher Priya here from Play in Paint Art Studio. Um, so today I'm back with some uh, more art tips on using color pencil. Last week uh, we, we did a coloring on wombat. So one of my students actually asked me, Teacher, what is a wombat? So let's look at a short video on what's a wombat and then some fun facts about wombat. In my last video on the art tips, I mentioned using the straight stroke method to color in. So there are, there are actually three methods that, that can be used. We can either use the straight method, the circle method or the cross hatch method. In the last lesson, we used the straight method where we do up and down, left to right without turning the paper. Whereas for the circle method, it will be very good uh, to color the edges. It will be able to give a good coverage. So we keep going in circles to cover all the area. This will be best um, to use on shapes that circle in shapes, oval shapes or you want to create a texture kind of feel to it. Uh, for example, if you are coloring a sheep and you want to make it look like woolly, you know, you want to give it like a, like a smooth feel, this method of coloring will be good. So for the third method, it will be the cross edge method. We color in one direction and then we turn the paper the other direction and we, we cross hatch it. That will be the third method of the stroke. So we can either use the straight, the circle or the cross hatch. My suggestion would be just try to do one first especially for the children below the age of 7. If it's difficult for you to get uh, to do the circle method or the cross hatching method try to do coloring in the same direction means the straight method first so if you look at it, it gives you a little bit of texture there okay. for the cross edge same direction and then what you do turn the paper and color on top of it again so by doing this you'll be able to cover it will give you a good coverage okay in terms of pressure that you must use for coloring if you want to get a very light shade keep your pencil further away from the tip and it will give you a very light shade if you want a medium shade in uh, hold your pencil in the middle whereas if you want to color it really dark then hold your pencil closer to the tip so if you look at this by using this method you can actually get three different shades from the same color pencil we will be using all these different techniques in coloring uh, our wombat today so just like last week i'll be doing the same thing this week too i'm going to be outlining it first and then filling up inside so if you remember last week I suggested that if you are going to choose one color to outline just try to do all the outlining first and then fill up so that will be much easier for you to remember. So I am using three 
I'm using two colors here one dark brown and one light brown and then I'm using different techniques where it some parts I'm using a light shade and some parts a dark shade okay if you watch carefully at this the nose at the first the bottom part I'm using a darker shade and then as I go up I use a lighter pressure to create the lighter color if you notice there's actually the same color but I use different pressure so that I can give a lighter to dark shade this method of coloring I would suggest for children the uh, for the age above 8 because for a younger children if you make them to use all these techniques they might feel a bit pressured and then they might lose interest in coloring itself so let's not try to force them into following all these techniques correctly just let them try out one way first and then once they are really good and confident then they can try out all the other ways so if you see here I just kind of like pull the color in with my finger I'm not coloring the inside part I kind of like just pull it in because I don't want it to be like dark brown I just want a very much lighter shade so I'm just like pressing it in so for this part I'm using the circular uh, method of coloring if you look carefully it kind of like creating a texture to it you know like as though it's like wooly kind of a feel on the tummy part
So here we are, we are done with the home bed colouring. So as I mentioned earlier, I have more than one home bed drawing for this week. So, if you want all these colouring papers, I need a paper. Okay, what you need to do is, I want you to share my YouTube channel, especially this video, with your friends, either in Instagram or Facebook. Snap the picture of y'all sharing and then send it to me. And along with your house address, what I'll do, I'll, I'll mail all these pictures to you along with a surprise gift. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from me. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Bye. Okay, see you.